today at the Education Research Center with Michael Kaplan, and he's here to tell us more about the ETA position. So hi Michael, can you tell us more about you? Sure, thanks Melanie. So I'm originally from Philadelphia, um, but I went to college in Baltimore at Johns Hopkins University. Uh, there I studied neuroscience and French, and now I am living in Paris as an English teaching assistant. So can you tell us what is an ETA exactly? So ETA stands for English Teaching Assistant and basically uh, the Fulbright Commission awards 10 scholarships annually for college students to come to France and teach in schools all over France. So I'm located in Paris at a high school called Lycée Jacques Brel in La Couronneuve. So being an English Teaching Assistant, what is your main role? Uh, so my main role as an English teaching assistant is to teach uh, about American culture in class. Um, so we work with groups of between uh, 8 to 12 students and um, in addition to speaking about culture, uh, our main focus is to have conversation with the students. Um, so naturally we hope that their English skills improve as well. Yes, so um, normally ETAs have a project that they work on at their school and my project is called La Table Polyglot and basically students uh, can come during their lunchtime and we have informal conversations, we play games, we have debates um, and it's a great atmosphere for students to come and speak English when they're not worried about being in front of their teacher um, and you know having to worry about their accent or their grammar, it's just a, it's a great place to talk. Okay, so can you describe the application process to become a Fulbright ETA? Sure, so the application process is quite lengthy. Um, two essays are required, one a personal statement and the second uh, a statement of grant purpose, why you want to do the program, things like that. Um, for me, uh, I worked with a department in my university and they helped me revise my essays several times. Uh, also, it was necessary to have an interview with them before uh, continuing with the process. So, did you have any teaching experience prior to this program? Yes, I did actually. So, I graduated from Hopkins in 2015 and the year after I decided to participate in a program um, to be a teaching assistant in an inner city school in Philadelphia. So, I worked with sixth graders uh, in English and math and uh, it's been very interesting for me actually to compare my experience there with my experience in France because the systems are completely different. Well, that's great. So if you could give a piece of advice to a new Fulbright ETA, what would it be? My advice for a new Fulbright ETA would be to be very flexible because often in France uh, schedules change, teachers are absent, uh, sometimes it's necessary to think on your feet and take an entire group of students uh, just off the cuff. And so being creative, open-minded, and uh, just you know, being able to think on the spot really helps. Right. So I know you're also working at the Education USA Center and you're doing volunteering time there. So can you tell us more about the center? Sure, so the Education USA Center is uh, located at the Franco-American Fulbright Commission and basically it's a place for French students to uh, go and find out information about um, studying in America. So whether they have a specific uh, idea in mind already or they're just planning for the future, uh, they can come to various workshops that we have, um, there are often webinars, uh, and it's they can receive uh, a ton of information about the university system in the United States, master's program, or even um, summer uh, exchange programs. So um, additionally, we participate in uh, education fairs on some weekends where a bunch of students come to learn about opportunities. Um, my specific role at the center involved uh, helping the advisor with one-on-one -on -one consultations holding workshops for the personal statement aspect of the uh, application for university uh, and also responding to emails that students sent on a daily basis with various questions that they had. Okay, this is 
It's great. So thank you for your time, Michael, and we appreciate your interview. Certainly. Thank you, Melanie.